Top 6 Best Nikon Cameras in 2024 Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best Nikon cameras in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. And like comment share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Nikon Z8. The Z8 is being pushed by Nikon as a baby Z9 with an almost identical feature set. The only real difference right now is that it has a more compact body, without the Z9's pro vertical grip and bigger battery, and it costs over a grand less. There is the option of adding a grip, too, should you need to carry an extra battery and have vertical control buttons. It's capable of 8K 60p video recording or 8K 30p with an enormous 2-hour record limit. Nikon decided to remove the mechanical shutter completely, which means the camera is capable of 120 frames per second continuous shooting and has a max shutter speed of 1 32,000 cc, which makes it perfect for sport and bird photography. The ferocious autofocus is capable of 10 kinds of recognition, human eyes, faces, heads, and upper bodies, animal eyes, heads, and bodies, and cars, aircraft, planes, trains, and motorbikes. Overall, though, there is literally nothing this camera can't do, it gives you speed, resolution, ruggedness and video capability in one. And it's cheaper than the Z9. Number 5. Nikon ZF. Don't let its vintage looks deceive you, the Nikon ZF is a fantastic modern digital camera. Internally, this is the closest to a new Z6 III right now, with its 25MP full-frame sensor and Nikon's cutting-edge X7 processor, the ZF offers much better autofocus and subject tracking, as well as solid 4K video performance. I really love the Nikon ZF for its retro design which is sure to immediately win over any vintage camera enthusiasts. From the moment I laid my hands on this camera, it stirred up a wave of nostalgia for the bygone days of shooting film. The ZF body has a fantastic build quality with more substantial and robust brass dials, and a weighty feel reminiscent of the iconic Nikon FM2 that served as its inspiration. I found that the ZF's minimal grip is uncomfortable to hold for long periods, and wish I had a small rig extended grip when testing. Also, there is a lack of Nikon vintage style lenses natively for the Z mount, which limits you to modern looking Nikon lenses, or old Nikon lenses via a mount adapter which spoils the aesthetic somewhat. Nikon has repeated several times that the demand for the ZFC has far exceeded its expectations, clearly showing that there is a serious appetite for cameras with a vintage aesthetic. And the Nikon ZFC was universally fairly well received, we gave it a near-perfect score, enamored with its vintage looks but criticizing its build quality and ergonomics. However, almost immediately after the release of the ZFC, eager users started asking for a full-frame version with the same classic styling, so it seemed almost inevitable that Nikon would deliver just that. You can check out our Nikon ZF vs ZFC comparison to see the differences between the two models. Number 4. Nikon Z7 II. The Nikon Z7 II was Nikon's flagship full-frame mirrorless camera until the mighty Z9 came along. Even so, while the Z7 II can't match the Z9's continuous shooting speed or 8K video, it delivers the same super high resolution and easily enough sports shooting slash video capability for everyday non-specialist use. This Mark II version brings dual memory card slots and faster processing but retains the excellent design and handling of the original, and Nikon's equally excellent in-body stabilization system. Nikon has quickly built an impressive range of Prospect Nikkor Z lenses, so the Z7 II makes an extremely good all-round camera for professional use, and Nikon's pricing is very competitive too. We really rate the Nikon Z7 II, not for any flashy, headline-grabbing specs but because it does everything really well at a good price. We're big fans of the original Nikon Z7 and as the name suggests, Nikon hasn't started from the ground up with the Z7 II. Instead the company has listened to feedback and looked to iron out the weaknesses of the original, tweaking and refining to arrive at the Z7 II. Externally at least the only giveaway that you're dealing with the newer camera is the new Nikon Z7 II badge. 
However, with the mirrorless landscape changing in the last two years with a selection of new rivals, do the changes made to the Z7 II offer enough to put it ahead of the competition? Number 3. Nikon ZFC. This dreamy camera doesn't just look cool, it's also one of the best beginners to mid-range cameras around. With an APS-C sensor and a sophisticated processor, the Nikon ZFC is a highly capable camera for image makers of all stripes, even if it misses out on a few features like a built-in flash. It's a little pricier than its stablemate the Nikon Z50, and if you don't care about looks then you may want to consider that camera instead, as it's basically the same deal. However, we're utterly charmed by the style and presentation of the Nikon ZFC. Can't resist the look and feel of the best retro cameras? Then look no further, the Nikon ZFC will suit you down to the ground. It does need a few more native DX format Nikon Z lenses, though. Number 2. Nikon Z9. Here, at long last, is the shot across the bows of Canon and Sony, the Nikon Z9, the firm's latest pro mirrorless camera and a startling step forward for professional imaging. The Nikon Z9 boasts an intimidating set of features. It's capable of burst shooting at a face-melting 120 frames per second, for one, and its buffer can record a nominal 1,000 images per burst, with Nikon recording it being capable of as many as 5,000 when used with a high-spec CF Express card. It also uses deep learning AF, meaning its focusing ability should get better over time, and the backside illuminated sensor delivers superior low-light performance. The Z9 has added a number of new significant features since launch, thanks to updated firmware. These include adding 8K video, increasing the pre-release buffer to 300 seconds, and the ability to set your camera up to shoot subjects automatically when they are in frame. Number 1. Nikon D850. Mirrorless camera fans will often complain about the size and weight of DSLRs, and they have a point. The Nikon D850 is a big bruiser of a camera compared to the Nikon Z models. But this size works in your favor if you're shooting with big, heavy lenses, and most pro lenses are big and heavy. This is a handling factor that many mirrorless users don't take into account. Being a DSLR, the D850 has a bright, clear optical viewfinder that many photographers still prefer over a digital display, no matter how good the latter. The D850's 45.7 megapixel sensor produces quite a superb image quality, yet it can still maintain a shooting speed of 7 frames per second or 9 frames per second with the optional battery grip. Even without the grip, the D850 has an amazing battery life of 1840 shots, far more than any mirrorless rivals, and it comes with two memory card slots, one for an xqd slash express card and one for regular sd slash sdhc slash sdxc. For a long time, professional photographers have faced a blunt choice. You can get a camera with great resolution, like the Nikon D810, Canon EOS 5DS or Sony A7R2, but no real speed, or you can get a high-speed specialist like the Nikon D5, EOS, 1DX2 or Sony A9, but you then have to compromise on resolution. Maybe you even end up having to buy one of each. We haven't forgotten the Sony A99 II, but Sony's Alpha SLT system has yet to establish itself as a viable, forward-looking proposition for pro photographers, this is why the new Nikon D850 is such a big deal. It doesn't just raise the bar for resolution, it delivers a continuous shooting speed to rival a dedicated sports camera. At last, this is a professional DSLR that really can do anything. What's more, this blend of speed and resolution is just one facet of a camera that could be Nikon's most important new model for years. This is the top 6 best Nikon cameras in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.